Bernina users, this is not Lent. Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com and we have a store in Sioux Falls, South Dakota called Heirloom Creations and we have had a rash of Bernina 7 Series, 5 Series, and 4 Series hooks that have come in with a part that has been removed that shouldn't be removed. And I want to show you what we're talking about. We're talking about inside the hook area. We do talk about oiling down inside those little wicks internally here and of course on the outside when we talk about daily cleanings and oilings. So what's happening is, is people are coming in here and pulling them out. And what are we getting? We are getting an area that no longer has its little wick for oiling the central area. This guy spins. That's what you're actually oiling down here. And so I wanna show you what is not to be removed. And if you remove it, it could cost you a little bit. We wanna help get the word out of what you can do to prevent these awkward situations when you go and take your machine in for its annual service. Here's what I'm talking about. When you're guided to oil the Bernina hook system, we're talking about taking out the entire hook. You're gonna put some oil around the perimeter of this area here, so all the way around. You can also put some oil just right down here and um, let it circulate as it stitches. And look at that. Double check if you've got any of that extra thread wrapped around these two little arms. I'm gonna show you uh, what those actually are doing because it was explained to me recently and it was so helpful. So if you do have any lint, get in there and pull it out. Here's what we're looking at. These two small locations that are circular are to have also a little oil placed on them. And they do look like they could be lint. So what's happening is people are getting in here with tweezers and pulling it out. You'll also see that this wick, which is what it is, extends even out to the perimeter. So as you put a little oil here, it not only goes out to the edges and oils, what I'm gonna show you, sits in these little openings, the little arms, but it what this is doing is oiling the center part. So if I hold on to this with my fingers, the way your stitch is made is as it rotates, it is connecting your needle thread with your bobbin thread. That's how you get a stitch. This little guy rotates a full rotation as you take one stitch. It's pretty amazing. The oil that you're placing is keeping this guy lubricated. Now, what about those little arms in here? So as you can see, sometimes when things are not threaded up correctly, you might actually have a little bit of thread. Now, I will tell you, if you're sewing with black thread, that is the hardest thing to uh, see. So make sure you get in there with maybe your uh, cell phone flashlight and see if you have anything wrapped around those arms. Now, you'll never be holding this piece outside your machine. Well, I sure hope not, because that's what you're seeing back here. See that little silver dot? That's what you are aligning when you put your hook and circle lined up together. By the way, I'll put, uh, I'm going to show you how a quick way to flip this in so the magnetic pieces just click and it's not so much of a struggle putting it in every time you take it out for oiling. So what happens is, is as this goes and connects, these little arms, those are the ones that come through the hook area, the ones I had that little lint around, and as it spins, these little arms go in and out. They go out and then let the thread pass by so it can get linked around your bobbin. And then as it comes back around, they come back into position and then show back up. So they're kind of going up and down as it rotates. And if things aren't correctly lubricated or cleaned, that's why you're getting thread caught on those arms. And that's why you need to get inside and get the any thread that's out. So if you have a trouble and it snags of thread, you get those little gears of death on your screen. All you need to do is make sure that as you pull this out, 
look for any thread hooked on these two little arms, remove it, put in the lubrication, double check that you have those little um, felt pads in there, the wick area that is doing the lubrication for you, and once, and do not remove those. Those are key for the lubrication of your hook system. I mentioned a quick way of getting this all back in there, so if you often fumble and it doesn't always go in easily, all you need to do is line up the hole that is on the hook with that silver dot that's on the bottom, this being the center part, that's the one you're looking for. If it's not kind of near the bottom, about 530-ish, touch your needle up down button and get it to cycle through so it's where it's sitting. If you bring your hook area even with the edge of the black race cover, when you go to lift this up, It'll flip right in and click into place. Easy peasy. We do have a full video we'll put up in this top corner. You can click on and watch me do it from start to finish. Push that in. Make sure you've cleaned everything. Probably take the throat plate out if, if you haven't already. And make sure that if you haven't had your machine service lately, that you're doing that on an annual basis. Now, if you're looking for more education on how to use your beautiful Bernina sewing machines or sewing and embroidery machines, we have a ton of free video tutorials that you can walk through, little short videos, one on every page of the manual. And we also have some online courses like our Stitching Cosmos online course that will help you master all the sewing side functions, features, decorative stitches, and accessory feet. And we have our Embroidery Essentials course that will help you master the embroidery side of your machine. So those links are below. You can always check out about 10 videos, 10 to 20 videos for free in each of those courses. See if the course is right for you. And maybe I'll see you in one of our online courses soon.